Hi, I'm Miss Haley with the Huntsville Madison County Public Library, and today I am going to show you how to make a very simple early elementary school craft, and it is dragon breath, which might not make a lot of sense when I say it, but I think when you'll see it, you'll know what I'm talking about. So this craft is suitable, as I said, for early elementary school age children. It could also be done by older elementary school children, probably by themselves with a lot of ease. So for this craft, you're gonna need a couple things. You're gonna need some scissors, a pencil, a glue stick. You could also use scotch tape for this. Scotch tape, uh, you wouldn't have to wait for the glue to dry, so scotch tape might be better. Just depending, I'm gonna be using glue today. Um, you'll need two different colors of crepe paper. I am using yellow and orange because my dragon breath is supposed to look like fire. Um, but you do not have to use these colors. You could use whatever colors you want. Maybe your dragon breathes sparkles and rainbows. I don't know. Mine breathes fire though, so we're gonna do that. You need a toilet paper tube. You could also use a um, paper towel tube. Any sort of circular cardboard tube would work. Um, and then you're going to need a piece of construction paper. Now, if you were using a paper towel tube, it's about twice as long as this, maybe a smidge longer than a toilet paper tube. And for that, you would use the entire sheet of round of, of paper. You just wrap it around there and you would tape it. But because I am using a toilet paper tube, I need to cut off some of my excess here. So I am going to use I want it right at the edge. I don't want any hanging off, so I'm going to line my toilet paper tube up right at the edge over here with my paper. And I'm just gonna put a little mark right here. And I'm gonna do this in a couple places. I'm gonna move it up the page and put a little mark. I'm gonna move it to the end of the page like that and put a little mark. And then I'm going to cut along these lines. If you want to, you can use a straight edge or a ruler to line up along here and then draw a line down that way. I am just going to use my eyes and cut in a straight line. I'm pretty good at cutting in a straight line. Um, but you do not have to do it that way. You can measure that if you want to, if you wanna make it really perfect and even. So you won't need, if you're using a toilet paper tube, you probably will not use this other part of the paper, set it aside. You can use it for another craft. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a lot of glue right here on the end of the toilet paper tube. I'm gonna put another bit about halfway up and we're gonna put some on the end, but I'm gonna wait to do that until I've got it rolled. So I'm gonna set the toilet paper tube down right here above that glue spot and I'm gonna roll it down and hold for a second and then roll back this way. And that will let you pick it up and you can just roll it up. And now we're gonna put a little glue right there. When I say a little glue, I actually mean a lot of glue. Um, you always wanna use a lot of glue so that it'll stick. You don't need to gob it on, but a lot of people skimp on glue. So don't, don't skimp on your glue. You can smooth that down, press it down, hold it. You're gonna to need to wait a few seconds for that to dry because you don't want it to pop off. Um, that's where if you're in a rush, tape is a little bit better because you can just tape it closed. But I like to use glue for this because it will stay closed. Tape can come off, it can wear out, um, and glue lasts a little bit longer. So we're using glue today. So while we let that dry, I'm going to cut some pieces, if I can find the start, of crepe paper. I think that's the start right there. I think it just... It's glued down. I'm gonna have to probably rip it. So if you're using a fresh roll of crepe paper, you might... Problem solved. So it depends on how long you want your dragon's breath to be. Um, you're gonna glue it in along the outer circle here. You're gonna leave one circle empty and then you're gonna glue along here a lot of crepe paper. 
So it depends kind of on how long you want your dragon's breath to be. I do not recommend that you go too long. So we're gonna go, how long is that? About one and a half toilet paper tubes long. About like that. That's maybe eight inches if you're measuring. But if you're not measuring, if you're just going by, that's about maybe maybe even two toilet paper tubes long. Um, not precise. You just don't want it super, super, super long. I'm not going to use this piece because it has that weird gluey spot on there. So I'm just going to cut that off and discard it. And I'm going to cut a few more pieces. I'm not sure how many I'm going to need. This is kind of the sort of craft that you have to play it by ear a little bit and just see what is going to work for you. So I'm going to cut ooh, four pieces of yellow to start and then I'm going to do the same with my orange and cut four pieces of orange. To start out with. You may need more than this. I don't think you'll need any less than eight pieces. So that's four of each color, but you may need more. So what we're going to do, our toilet paper tube should be pretty straight here by now. We are going to put a little bit of glue just on the tip here and we're gonna stick it in there and we're gonna hold it down. And they're gonna overlap a little bit because you can see this covers up about a third of the inside of my toilet paper tube there. So they are gonna overlap a little bit, but that is what we're going to do for our dragon breath. So you kind of have to hold your crepe paper down while you're gluing it. It doesn't want to glue um, super easily. It's, it's very crinkly and it can be a little easy to break. So just be aware of that. But once you've got some glue on there, you're gonna stick it in there. You're just gonna press it down. Then you can set it aside to let it dry. Then you can do your next one. I'm going to alternate my colors. Whoa. Uh-oh. Might be out of glue. That's okay. I think I have enough to finish. So <laughs> I'm going to alternate my colors here. I'm going to go ahead and do two at a time. Ooh. And I'm turning, I'm not putting them all in the same place. We want them to go all the way around our tube. So I am turning our tube in places so that I can evenly put them around it. And once you get around, you might have to hold it like that so that they're kind of draping around it. Using up all of the last of that glue that came off. Try not to waste any. And keep adding glue. I think I'm gonna put this one right here. It's kind of a gap right there where I was a little too far away. And I'll put my yellow one between so I don't have two orange side by side. And again, just press it down. Now you wanna let it sit aside and dry, but this is going to be your dragon breath and you'll hold it like this. You'll wanna let it dry, but then once you have let it dry, you can blow into the other side, so this side, and you can go and it'll crinkle. So if you're having problems with that, you can try, if it doesn't blow the way you want it to blow, you can try trimming your ends it's possible that they're just too long for your breath to really blow them but you blow in this end and like i said i'm not going to do it on camera because you want to wait till your um crepe paper is dry in there otherwise you could wind up blowing a piece off and then you just have to re put it put it back on but that is our dragon breath tutorial and i hope you guys have fun with this craft and if you want to send us pictures using your dragon's breath we would love to see them 
Our theme this week was dragons, and we would like to see what you guys came up with. You can send those to summerreading at hmcpl.org. Thank you.